impact in recruiting because facilities don't usually make an impact in recruiting. Right. The whole two division titles in three years might be helping more than Correct. anything else for Pat Fitzgerald. All right. Let's turn our attention to Greg Schiano and the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. What a class they are bringing in the last few years. The Rutgers class has been ranked in the 60s, mid 60s. This one's 41 in the country. A couple of four star guys on here, including Elijah Clark and uh, Kyrie Banton. A couple guys from the state of New Jersey, which is obviously incredibly important for Greg Schiano the head coach who joined us back in December to talk about his group. We have some really good football players that are cultural fits for our program, and that's really what we look for. Do they love football, and are they a cultural fit? And certainly we wouldn't be recruiting them if they weren't talented, but uh, we got longer. Uh, I think we got got faster. We got bigger, and, uh, you know, I, I think that we have a strength coach who's the best in America, and Jay Butler so what, what we do with that length is go pack some pounds on them, some muscle on them, and uh, they don't get slower. And, and that's, that's when they can become really good players. You know, the first thing you said when we're looking at a recruit is, do they love football? Can you elaborate on that? I'm curious, how often do you run into someone and you're like, well, he's talented, but I can just tell he doesn't love it? No, there's a lot of, there's a lot of players. And I'll tell you, having coached in the National Football League and having coached in, in Division One football, uh, that may sound weird. There's a lot of a lot of guys who like being a football player. They like the things that go along with it. There's, there's fewer guys that truly love the game. They love working out. They love being in the facility. They love meeting. They love watching film. They just love everything about it. And those are my kind of guys. And I don't know what coach who, who doesn't love those kind of guys, but I think in recruiting, you really need to get close to people to find out if that's true. And uh, that's where I think I'm very proud of our staff. They worked very, very hard to make sure that these guys are, that we signed today are cultural fits with our program. Well, here's a look at the Scarlet Knights and where they are recruiting. And it's a small state over there in the top right, but that number nine by NJ is incredibly important. Howard, we know this, that there's talent in that state. We know Greg Schiano has said it's incredibly important for him to keep that in-state talent there. So far, in at least this class, he's making inroads. He is, and I think that's important for where this program ultimately needs to go. When we talk about this program, we talk about Greg, he is like the perfect person. When you talk about his personality and what he wants to do and how he wants to continue to rebuild the program as it was before when he took over the first time. He's got a great energy. He's got great energy. He's got great inroads into that state. It still takes time to, to develop even or to cultivate those relationships and bring them back to where they were. But I think he's the perfect person for it. And it's going to be important to do that because there are going to be some other people that are going to come into that state and to that area and that region and try to take some of those top players out of there. He's got to make sure that he's evaluating these players at a young age getting a head start on them and understanding where they are. And I know that's been his philosophy in the past. He just has to continue to cultivate uh, those relationships and identify those prospects at an early age so that he can, when it comes down to the end, he'll have a chance of signing them. Yeah, there's no doubt that the story of this class is what Howard talked about, their ability to keep those top in-state players at home. But let's not overlook what they were able to do outside of that as well, going out to Colorado and getting a player, going down to Virginia, and then, of course, what they did down in Florida, bringing up three players, including wide receiver Carnell Davis, who had offers from a lot of schools in the SEC, could have stayed closer to home. That's always been a state that Rutgers has been able to dip into a little bit. Now, if they're able to go down there and actually win some battles over SEC programs like they did with Carnell Davis, that's going to supplement what they do at home. This is a lot like Mike Loxley, right? Who does a great job recruiting the DMV? Mike Loxley. Who does a great job recruiting New Jersey? Greg Schiano. Loxley's uh, uh, offense. Greg's defense. He's got to support the other side of the ball with a great offensive coach. He's got to make sure he's giving them really good players, especially on the perimeter because the game is played out in space nowadays. And what do we talk about Jersey? What do we talk about the DMV? It's always about if you only could keep them at home. Well, you're not always going to keep them at home. You are going to lose something. The difference nowadays is it's a lot easier for them to come back. So when that, when that recruit says, Coach Ciano, you did a great job recruiting me. I love you, but I just want to get away from home for a little bit. And then getting away from home doesn't turn out to what that 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 player thought it would be they've got that relationship and they come back so the more we talk about these fertile areas in the big 10 footprint 
And the more we talk about how the coach is a perfect fit, Mike Boxy at Maryland, Greg Schiano at Rutgers, it's all going to come full circle, whereas in the past, it wasn't so easy to come back and play right away. And to put a bow on this, the last three years for Rutgers, if you look at the top 15 players in the state of New Jersey, one in the last three years stayed and went to Rutgers. In this class alone, Shiano has four of the top 15 players in state staying to be a Scarlet Knight.